I'm going to go through the derivation of how a work relates to the change of kinetic energy. Remember the definition of work? We started from dW equals force dot dr. Now from Newton's second law, we can relate the force to the acceleration. And remember, we can write the acceleration as uh, the differential at upper velocity. So f equals m dot dv by dt, m dv by dt. If we put that into the equation for work, we end up with dw is equal to m dv by dt dot dr. Now the time differential can go anywhere, so this is the same as m dv dot dr by dt, which is the same as m v dot dv. Okay, now if we want to calculate the total work done along a path, In this case, the path is moving a moving particle from the velocity it has at velocity a to the velocity at velocity b. Work done is the path integral dw, which is using the equation we have above, the path integral of m v dot dv e to b. Um, so we now need to break this into components to calculate uh, to do the integral, um, so this ends up being the m times the path integral from a to b of vx dx plus vy dy plus vz dz, okay? If we do that integral, we end up with m over 2 vx squared plus vy squared plus vz squared in A and B, you notice that's just the total magnitude of the velocity squared. So this is just m v squared over 2 between A and B, which is just 1 half m v b squared minus 1 half m v a squared, which hopefully you recognize as being the kinetic energy at, at velocity b minus the kinetic energy at velocity a. So work done is the change in kinetic energy.